Why is everyone talking about ASML? ASML's near monopoly for its highly sought-after product may become an investor's dream. The company expects revenue to increase 115% by 2025 with its new guidance. Its stock is expensive, but the new forecast could justify the rising valuation. The global chip shortage, which started in late 2019 and worsened throughout the pandemic, turned ASML into one of the world's most talked about semiconductor equipment makers. The Dutch company is the world's largest producer of lithography machines, which are used to edge circuit patterns onto silicon wafers. It's also the only manufacturer of EUV, extreme ultraviolet lithography systems, which are required to create the smallest technology chips. ASML only ships a few dozen EUV systems a year, which cost over 120 million euros, it's 139 million US dollars each. They are shipped to the largest chip foundries worldwide. That makes it a crucial supplier for TSMC, Samsung and Intel, and a linchpin of the global semiconductor market. Over the past two years, ASML stock more than tripled as investors realized it would profit from the global chip shortage. There is a rosier outlook for 2025. During ASML's last investor day in 2018, it set a target of generating 15 billion euros to 24 billion euros in revenues in 2025. But this time, it expects to generate 24 billion to 30 billion euros in revenue in 2025. That forecast implies its annual revenue, which hit 14 billion euros in 2020 could more than double within the next four years. Back in 2018, ASML expected its gross margin to exceed 50% by 2025. It now expects to post a gross margin of somewhere between 54% to 56% in 2025 compared to its gross margin of 48.6% in 2020. How does ASML plan to hit those targets? ASML's new revenue forecasts for 2025 are modeled on low and high projections for the semiconductor market, which will impact its total shipments of lithography systems. Companies' EUV systems are currently used to manufacture the world's smallest 7 nanometers to 5 nanometer chips and will also be used to manufacture the upcoming generation of 3 nanometer chips. But to manufacture even smaller chips, TSMC, Samsung, and Intel will all need to use ASML's next generation high NA EUV systems. Low market scenario, the cyclical demand for chips could cool off after the current round of plant upgrades. If that happens, ASML expects to sell 313 lithography units in 2025, including 48 EUV systems and 5 high NA systems. Lower end systems will account for the rest of its shipments. In a high market scenario, the secular expansion of newer markets including 5G networks, data centers and the Internet of Things could spark a super cycle of chip upgrades that lasts much longer than previous semiconductor growth cycles. In this scenario, ASML expects to ship 452 lithography systems in 2025, including 70 EUV systems and 5 high NA systems. Both scenarios would represent significant growth from 2020 when it sold 258 lithography systems, including including 31 EUE systems. ASML hasn't set an exact launch date for its high NA systems yet, but they are expected to arrive in time to support TSMC's planned development of 2 nanometer chips in 2023. ASML's new gross margin target should be achievable since its near monopoly gives it unmatched pricing power. That's why ASML's gross margin more or less expanded consistently over the past several years. ASML's business is currently firing on all cylinders, but investors should be aware of two big risks. First, the aggressive attempts by TSMC, Intel and Samsung to resolve the current chip shortage could result in a chip surplus in 2023, according to IDC. If that happens, ASML's growth will stall out. Second, ASML's high NA systems will push EUE technologies to their technical limits. This puts a lot of pressure on ASML to develop new technology for even smaller chips, which could be very challenging since it took approximately three decades for ASML to develop its EUV systems. Those challenges along with ASML's rising valuations could limit its returns over the next four years. ASML's strength still easily outweighs its weaknesses and it remains one of the best ways to invest in the secular growth of the semiconductor market.